Good morning, ESM, and happy Eid al fitr to all of our Muslim friends as they break their fast celebrating Ramadan. Good morning, ESM. Here is our top news story. A central New York school district has added a Muslim holiday to its calendar. It is believed to be the first public school in the area to do that. Eid al fitr will be a day off for all students and staff today at JD schools. The first time Muslim holiday will be officially observed in the district. The holiday marks the end of Ramadan. Islam is the second largest of the three monotheistic religions in the world, the petition read. Just as our school system acknowledges Christian and Jewish holidays, we request that JD school districts recognize Muslim holidays in an equivalent manner. In central New York, some districts, including JD and Vilnius, closed school for the Jewish holidays of Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, while most others do not. As of Wednesday, May 12, 2021, all New Yorkers aged 12 and up will be eligible for the COVID-19 vaccines. The clinics will be held Thursday, May 13th from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. at the On Center Saturday, May 15th from 9 a.m. to noon at the On Center on Monday, May 17th at Fowler High School from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Visit ongov.net to register. The ESM School District is hoping to set up a vaccine clinic at ESM with the Onondaga County Department for Health for 12 to 17 year olds later in May. There will be a survey sent in the next few days to determine if there is an interest in the vaccine for 12 to 15 year olds. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Uh, the ESM field hockey team will be running a t-shirt fundraiser in support of Mariska Gale, a freshman field hockey player here at ESM that was recently diagnosed with cancer and is receiving treatment. To order, you can go through the Papa Sports website or you can order through Coach Harris or Mrs. Alexander in the woman's PE office. T-shirts are $10 to $14 depending on size. If you are ordering through the website, you can choose the local pickup option so that you do not need to pay shipping and we will contact you when the shirts are in. You don't have to you don't have long to show your support and buy a shirt. And all shirt orders must be in prior to May 26, so please order soon. Thank you for all your support. Seniors, tickets for the Senior Ball will be on sale in the main lobby from 8.30 to 8.45 every morning. Cost is $20, either cash or check made out to the ESM class of 2021. What's up ESM, I'm Mr. White, one of the school counselors here at the high school, here to talk to you about more information related to Mental Health Awareness Week. Earlier this week, we heard from Abby, we heard from Lauren, and they really did a nice job highlighting many of the proactive approaches you can take to your mental health and well-being. Things like exercises, exercising, spending time in nature, reading. There are other resources out there too, such as apps on your phone. When it comes to mental health, we hear things like taking a time for ourselves, taking a moment to breathe, or meditation, or mindfulness. There's all these different things out there that we can do, but a lot of times we don't know where to start. And our phones are a great place to get that process started. When we think about our phones, we think about them for communicating, entertaining, zoning out, procrastinating. But we can really use these apps to help with our well-being. We're really familiar with all those apps out there that, tra that track like how many miles we've walked or um, you know, physical health related things, but there are some really good ones out there for mental health as well. The first one I'm gonna talk about is MindShift CBT. This is a pretty cool program uh, that offers resources to manage anxiety, ways to cope with it. They have what are called chill out skills, which are things like meditation and relaxation techniques. They also give you some active steps. So what are some behavior things that you can do that will help prevent anxiety? Now, this app is pretty text-based, meaning there's a lot of um, kind of reading and instructions. And so if reading is more your style, this may be a good fit for you. If you'd rather things kind of through an audio, 
sort of way rather than reading them, then Smiling Mind might be a good app for you to try. So there's hundreds of different meditations, things like body scans, breathing techniques, sensory exercises, even things like listening to music or tasting food. Um, options are out there for choosing guided meditation, meaning someone talking you through how to do it, as well as your own self-directed meditation as well. UCLA Mindful is also another one that's out there that's uh, pretty solid in terms of meditation opportunities. So they have timers to meditate on your own. They provide basic meditations. They have ways to get started, supportive meditation, as well as meditation postures that you may want. These last two are probably the more common or, or more known names out there in apps for meditation and mental health awareness, Calm and Headspace. We know them because they're advertised on TV a lot. Calm was recently endorsed by LeBron James. These are apps that are limited free apps with upgrade purchases that you can make. The limited options still have some cool features, uh, but they tend to be a little bit shorter and some of the, the cooler features on these apps do cost money. And so they may be worth checking out, but those other three before that are completely free may be a better choice. I'd like to leave you with the words of LeBron James. It's a calm commercial, um, but he's really talking about the combination of how mental health and physical health go together and that you can't have one without the other. And often we're focusing on the physical health aspect of things whereas our mental health is truly where our strength is. And so I will leave you with LeBron James' words. We've always thought of great athletes as the strongest, the fittest, chiseled to perfection. But what's a strong body without a sound mind? We're so focused on strength that we forget to strengthen our focus. The mind is like a muscle. The more you train it, the stronger it becomes. And while the greats mastered the body, the greatest mastered the mind. With COVID affecting one's everyday life, this left some asking the question of, will there be a musical this year? Well, the answer is yes. Mr. Brandon, the director of Spartan Stage's production of Breaking Up is Hard to Do, explains the challenges that cast and crew faced while putting together the 2021 school musical. Some of the most challenging aspects of putting this show together in a COVID era were some of the limitations that uh, we had to maintain in order to provide social distancing and to keep everyone safe. So our theater is really small in the wing space, the things you don't see on stage. So normally during a typical production, we're all sort of wedged back there with set pieces and there's lots of people and things going on back there so that we can create the magic on the stage. And of course we couldn't do that. Mr. Brandon went on to say that blocking the show was difficult as well. As you could imagine, putting pieces of a love story together while keeping social distancing protocols in play are extremely hard. On a bigger note, we talked to Spartan Stage's senior Antonio Cambareri about what it's like to be back on stage in 2021. So glad that we get this opportunity to be in person with the cast because no matter what, we always have a better connection together if we are in person together. We can build up that chemistry together. You know, we can build, we can build up a bond, a relationship with each and every one of us. And I think because we have these relationships, it makes our performance on stage much better. With hard work comes great outcomes, and Spartan Stage's cast and crew are no exception to this. With featured music from Neil Sedaka, this show is sure to get you moving on your feet. I think what people can expect from Breaking Up is Hard to Do is to have a really good time. The music is so fun, the characters are really great and funny, and it was meant to be a show that people could stream, and the music and the characters would just light it up for them so that they would want to watch the whole show. 
Live stream dates for Spartan Stage's production of Breaking Up is Hard to Do are May 12th and 13th at 7, and May 15th at 2. Streaming passes are on sale now for $4 at esmchs.booktix.com. The softball team lost yesterday 14-3 against J.D. The girls lacrosse team won 20-3 against Oswego. Natalie Sturick and Emma Beal both scored four goals. The boys lacrosse team won last night 11-1 against Oswego. Matt Kenny and Gavin Hotaling both scored three goals to contribute to the Spartans win. The New York Knicks clinched their first playoff appearance since 2013. In upcoming games today, the baseball team plays against at Cortland and the boys' tennis team plays against Central Square. And I'm Luke with your sports. All right, so that's all we have today. So from everyone here at Spartan News, have a great day.